Hello Virgo, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel if you're new. If you are returning, thank you. Virgo, this is going to be your reading. Who is the next big romance coming into your life? We're going to take a look at your current energy. The person's current energy is on love. We're going to take a look at this person's characteristics, what's going, what life changes they're going through, if they're going through any life changes. Um, we're also going to take a look at where this connection is going, and we're going to take a look at some advice. Okay, Virgo. What is Virgo's current energy in love? Change one thing today. Start small. So you may be making changes. You may be making resolutions, Virgo. You may be making a list of things you want to accomplish. Tell me more about Virgos. Earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother, slow down, time in nature. So you may be spending a lot of time in nature at the moment. Or you may be really taking life slowly. You know, you may be just taking it all in at the moment. You may be focused on yourself. Focused on healing, grounding yourself. Um, you also may be one that meditates. I'm really hearing heart chakra, so you may be doing some heart chakra healing to feel more grounded. <laughs> See, this person energy is new. Let's see. There's something better. So, yeah, I feel like this person. No, tell me more about this person's energy. The situation will improve. So this person's energy, they may you may not click with this person right away. I feel like this person, if this is someone you want to be with, Virgo, this is someone that you have to make come around. Because I feel like for some reason I feel like this person isn't feeling you right away. Like maybe you clash. Like maybe you're kind of so different. Tell me more about this. Give me some more messages for Virgo. Give me some more messages for Virgo. We have romance. Cupid arrow strikes. So I feel like you're kind of... I, I'm really feeling like this is your crush. This is a crush you have. Virgo, and we have passion. A magnetic, seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. Yeah, I really feel like this is a crush that you have on somebody. This is a crush. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Hmm. We have Let there be closeness between you But always give each other space Love never claims It simply allows and gives Yeah, so I, I feel like this person This person may be from long distance I feel like you haven't had contact with this person if this is someone that you already know, I feel like you haven't had any contact with them. You haven't really spoken to them face to face. This isn't someone that you've really met face to face yet. This may be someone that you're meeting online or someone that you're just talking to online. Um, but I feel like, to be totally honest, Virgo, and I'm just going to be honest and blunt. After at first sight, I feel like this person is playing you. I feel like this person isn't very authentic. 
their their true feelings aren't saying what they're saying to you if that makes sense I feel like this person is kind of um, they're kind of shady this person is shady at least that's the way they're coming across tell me more about this person coming into Virgo's life tell me more about this person tell me about this big romance coming into Virgo's life the Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands. I feel like this is a person who's made a choice to keep their walls up. I feel like that's the reason why this person feels so disconnected. Because they have such high walls up. I feel like they're very secretive. Yeah, the, the Eight of Swords. They're very secretive. They're holding themselves back. They're like blocking their energy from anything good coming. And I feel like they've made a choice to keep their walls up high. Because they don't want to be... They don't want to be hurt. They they've set their boundaries so high, and they're they're maintaining the boundaries. They're not letting them down. Yeah, the King of Swords. So yeah, this person is coming off is very cold, very cold. And I feel like they know what they're doing. Yeah. They're, they're they're keeping their strength when it when it comes to this situation they're holding fast to their boundaries they don't want to let their guard down they feel like they can't let their guard down because if they do you'll see their weakness you'll see that they where they try to come off as really strong they're, they're actually very weak because they're they're worried about they're so worried about being hurt so that's the reason why their boundaries are so high the page of swords yeah i feel like it's going to take a lot to break down the walls of this person um it's not going to be easy but i feel like this person that they're, they're very curious i feel like they have a curiosity about you and they're definitely watching you. They're watching to see what you're doing, Virgo. They're keeping an eye on you. But I feel like they're doing it from a distance. If this is someone that you're talking to online, I feel like they're, they're really taking a look at your social media. They're, they're really checking out what's going on. Um... Yeah, they're definitely checking out what's going on. I, I, I feel like this is someone who's going to be very hard to communicate with because their boundaries are set so high. I feel like this is going to be a challenge, a very big challenge. See, because the Eight of Wands wanted to come out in reverse. So this is definitely someone who doesn't communicate well. Um, I feel like they hold things in a lot. They don't want to express their emotions. They kind of hold them in. They block them out. They, you know, they, they just don't want to show their emotions. This is someone who's going to take you to your deepest challenge, Virgo. Because I feel like if you want this to be your next romance, this person is going to be a huge challenge because they are closed. They are closed off. Yeah, we have the star in reverse as well. Yeah, so this person has been let down a lot. This person has lost their hope. 
they've lost their faith when I as I'm seeing this person it's like it's like they're caught up in this negative energy like they are just have this negative bubble wrapped around them, you know? Wow, Virgo. But I feel like, you know what, the Two of Cups and that card did want to come out right. Is this really worth your challenge, Virgo? I feel like you may be the person to open this person up. There is love here. There is love, Virgo. You may be the person that opens it up. And we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So this person, although their guards are, are, are way up there, their guards are just high as hell. This person doesn't want to walk away from this situation. They don't want to move on. So I feel like this person is in it. But this is going to be a struggle. This is going to be a struggle, Virgo. I'm just going to be totally honest with you. Um, you did have the Queen of Wands on the bottom. So I feel like you may be able to open this person up with your, with your kind quality, with your free spirit, with, you know... I'm going to be blunt with your seduction, you know, but I feel like it's going to be a very hard task. This is not going to be easy. And I hope, Virgo, you are ready for a challenge because this is definitely a challenge. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person coming into Virgo's life. Give me more information. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I feel like underneath this person is saying they're so sorry that they can't be the person that you want them to be right now. Um, I feel like they're saying, you know, I'm so sorry. My boundaries are so high up. Um, I need to be free. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to set themselves free from the bondage that they're keeping themselves in. And... Maybe at one point they'll be able to do so. Maybe they'll be able to do that with your help, Virgo. Maybe you're the person that sets them free. Maybe you have maybe you have the key. Maybe you have the key. And we also have revenge sex. Hmm. What is that about? I'm kind of in awe what revenge sex has to do with this situation. I get nothing when I see that. You're safe with me. I feel like they feel like they're, they, they're safe with you, Virgo. That's why I feel like they will open up. They, they really don't want to move on from your situation. Once they're around you. They they want to be around you, Virgo. They want to feel that. I don't know what this is about. I'm blocking you. And I feel like, you know, this person is blocking you from entering their life in a way. You know, you may end up blocking this person, to be totally honest. Be straight with me. And I feel like they have a hard time doing that. I feel like they have a hard time being straight with anybody. They just don't know how to say it or how to really express themselves to say what they need to say. Tell me about where this connection is going, Spirit. Tell me about where this connection is going. Tell me how this connection is going. The Ten of Swords. Okay, yeah, I, to be totally honest, I don't see it going very far. We have the Ten of Swords, so I feel like this may not very last very long, Virgo. 
I feel like with the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Swords, I feel like you're ready to move on. You're ready to go. You're ready to cast it away. And the Six of Wands. Hmm. I feel like this person wants you to recognize who they are. To be totally honest, I feel like this person don't want you to end things. But I feel like they think that you may. We have the judgment in reverse. You're undecided, Virgo. Eh, you can't make up your mind. And we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you definitely can't make up your mind. You don't know whether you're coming or going with this person. This person has you on like tilt, on like a tilt a wheel. We got three of cups. So you want to be very supportive of this person and you may ask for support from someone else to help you through this situation because I feel like this person may be a little bit beyond your control, Virgo. I haven't seen someone so blocked, someone so not sure of themselves, someone so in doubt of where they're going. The Three of Wands. Yeah, you may you may have to think about the future. See, we have the Six of Wands to the Three of Wands to... So someone is supporting you to move forward. Someone is supporting you to um, move away from that situation. I feel like someone's talking you out of the situation. Yeah, we have the... We have Justice in Reverse. So definitely, I feel like you really don't want to see the entire truth, Virgo. You don't want to see it. You're not willing to deal with whatever this is. Okay, Virgo, let's see. We'll take three, three more cards. What is your energy, Virgo? Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yeah, I feel like you're kind of learning your lesson in this situation. Um, what about your person? What about your person? Tell me about your person. Many options, decisions, unconventional string along one night stand. Yeah, so th this may end up being a one night stand, or this person may be stringing you along on the situation. But I feel like I feel like this is a lot, Virgo. This person has a lot to deal with. You have heart with a key. Okay, for some reason, spirit thinks that this some this is someone that you can help. This is someone that you can deal with. We have heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, letting, getting together, perfect. Is this person really perfect for you? You know, I'm, I'm kind of. And we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships and or addictions so I, I feel like that is the main problem with this person I feel like they're healing and I feel like they may be healing from several different things this person may be healing from addiction they may be healing from heartbreak of a relationship or some kind of loss in their life um, and I feel like that's what has them so blocked and so, you know, their energy just so negative, like they're in a negative bubble, you know? I feel like this is going to be like the greatest challenge of your life, Virgo. Um, 
if this is someone that you truly have feelings for, if this is someone that you truly love, this may be the one that's perfect for you once they go through transformation. Um, but I feel like this is going to be a challenge of your life. You know? Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Um, that's what I have for you. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If this does not resonate, please take a look at your moon and rising sign if I have them uploaded. Um, maybe that will give you more clarity on um, your next love romance. But many blessings to you. Until the next reading, love and light.